real unique, wonderful little apparatus that one of my students made. Emily Dirksen. She did this for a science project. We were talking about um, air support, and she said, oh, you know, I'm doing, this, studying this part about the lungs and science. And uh, I guess she and her father designed this wonderful contraption here, which really explains how breathing works, at least how we want to use it in singing. So if you can imagine this bottom part as the diaphragm, and then the two balloons attached to the tubes inside are the lungs. Can you see that okay? There we go. Okay, so now when I pull down like this, what it actually does is expands the chamber here. It makes more volume or airspace inside this central tube, which is an, an analogy for our, our uh, rib cage. So as I create more volume inside this space, it creates a vacuum and inside the balloons, which sucks the air in. Like that, so the air is coming in through this little tube here on the top. So when I push the diaphragm up, it does just the opposite. See, it makes the volume inside the tube smaller, so, so therefore it pushes the air out of the balloons. See, it's because the balloons have, have access to the air outside of the chamber itself, so therefore it takes from the outside when I pull down to replace that additional volume, and then when it's less, it pushes the air out. So consequently, you see, it's just like breathing. And it sounds just like breathing too. Blowing the air out, taking the air in, blowing the air out. Isn't this absolutely ingenious? I thought this was so clever the way she made this. This is just a balloon here that, that she has uh, held on to this plastic tube with a big piece of rubber. And then this is a marble down here that's glued into the bottom part of the balloon so you have something to pull on. And then this is a, a tube here with a stopper in the top. And then this looks like this piece of plastic was uh, cut out to match the tube so it could be glued here with a stopper put in it. And then the um, little tubes on either side to, this would be the trachea, and then I suppose these would be something like bronchial tubes that came down into the lungs. So there we go, breath in, breath out. So I'm showing you this wonderful analogy so that when I talk about expanding the ribs, you can envision that as making larger volume area inside your body, which therefore sucks the hair in. That's what we're going to talk about. And then when you push the diaphragm up, it creates a smaller area inside the body and pushes the air out. Okay, now let's see if you can push your hands up. There you go. Perfect. That's good. Try it again now. You can do it again. Now see how that sucks the air in? Okay, now now let's have you uh, put your hands up under your arms with your fingers pointing forward as high as you can possibly put them. Can you get them up higher now? Okay, now now uh, put the flat of your hands against your ribs. Oh, uh, yeah, like that, uh huh. Okay, now now push your hands up. There, good. Okay, now try loading the bottom first. Just leave your hands where they are. Okay, and load the bottom first. Good. Now, now the middle. Uh, okay. Now, now push your ribs up. Okay. Now let's start with the very beginning. Okay. Now, now drop your tummy. Okay. Now load the bottom of your lungs. Okay. And, and now push your ribs up, and then take more breath in from the top. There you go. Okay. Now, now turn around and let's do it from the front. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. 
Okay, now, now uh, let's go down and, and we'll look at your tummy. Okay, now, now let drop your tummy. Okay, now did you drop it? Mm -hmm. Okay, do it again. There you go. Okay, now, now fill the bottom of your lungs. Good. Now, now expand your ribcage. Perfect. Now, now take breath in. Okay, now, now start from the bottom. Okay, that's a curl. Okay, now load the bottom of the lungs. Good. Now expand your ribcage. Good. Okay, now nice big breath. That's it, noiseless. Good. Okay, now, now count and let it out a little bubble at a time. About the One, size of a pea. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Keep going now. See, you should be able to get up to about forty five. Okay, now your rib cage is collapsed. See, your rib cage was collapsed and, and your diaphragm was even. See, so you stopped when it was even. Keep going. You can keep going. Keep going anyway. And then you'll feel it go up, okay? Okay. Okay, try again. That a girl. Good. Great. One, two, three. Keep going. Now it's even. Keep going. Five, 